What's up everyone, DXD here bringing you a detailed champion guide on Annie. Annie is a mid lane caster. She has great sustain from a Q disintegrate which I'll talk about later on in the video. She also has great poke from her long range auto attacks and abilities. However, she is fairly squishy if her passive isn't up and she falls off late game. Annie's passive, Pyromania, will stun enemies for 1.75 seconds if hit by her offensive abilities. The passive activates itself after 4 spell cast and will show above the ability bar. Annie's Q Disintegrate blasts a fireball dealing magic damage to targets. If the target is killed, the mana cost is refunded. So basically, as I was saying before about the sustain, that Annie has very good sustain. Um, I mean, you can farm minions with the Q and then every minion you kill, kill with the uh, ability, the mana cost will be refunded. That way, uh, it's easier, it's harder to miss CS because the ability deals more magic damage, deals more damage than your auto attacks, obviously. Uh, so that way, you can uh, last hit with your ability if you're not good at last hitting and you can still get all the mana back uh, which is very good. Annie's W Incinerate is a fire blast in the direction she is facing and basically uh, her W is a great way to clear waves and also to proc multiple stuns with her passive so all the targets that you catch in the ability will be stunned if your passive is up. It has 625 range just like the Q and it scales 75% uh, with your maximum ability power. Moving on, Annie's E Molten Shield is a shield of fire surrounding Annie that gives her an armor and magic resistance buff and uh, deals magic damage to every single enemy that attacks her with basic attacks. So basically it's great for trading in lane and if you're, fight if you're ever fighting an AD carry, uh, let's say if you're playing Annie's support. Finally, Annie's ultimate, Summon Tibbers. Annie summons Tibbers to the target location in the Burst of Flames, dealing magic damage to enemies with 290 range. Tibbers remains on the field for up to 45 seconds and Annie can control his movements and attacks. Tibbers deals magic damage with his attacks and is also surrounded by a flaming aura. My summoner spells of choice and my recommended summoner spells are Ignite and Flash. The Flash is for escapes from ganks. Uh, if you're basically if you don't have your uh, passive up and it's very hard to survive a gank Flash will be very useful and it will save your life most probably um, And the ignite if you don't initially kill the target with the, your burst with your huge burst you can use the ignite to um, Burn the enemy down. Okay guys moving on to the room page Four runes, I recommend you go for the greater marks of magic penetrations, greater seals of mana region, greater glyphs of ability power and greater quintessences of ability power. This will ensure your sustain and power in the early game is above your opponent. For the highest burst potential, I recommend you go for 21 in the offense column and 9 in the utility. 20, 21 in the offense column due to the extra potential of killing your lane opponent, giving you extra ability power, cooldown reduction and attack damage. And 9 in the utility section due to the cooldown reduction, the extra duration on buffs and the mana region. So this was the end of my guide, I hope you enjoyed it guys, comment on what you liked and what you disliked and what I can improve on next time, also comment on what guides you would like to see in the future and if you liked the video please give it a like, I would really appreciate it and if you want to subscribe go for it, I will be making more guides in the future, more funny videos, more montages on my channel, so yeah, peace guys.